Hi, today I'm continuing uh, hangar and the conning tower assembly. As you can see, also in this case, there are many additional elements in Edward's kit. I want to use them all, but uh, first I need to prepare the surface, cutting off the plastic parts that will be replaced and sanding the area. After that I've started to paste PE elements. Some of them are really small, so we have to be very patient. I also suggest to clean the whole working area properly, in case of some tiny elements would accidentally bolt out. Sometimes it's easier to use a stick with parafix to glue them, but it's not always possible and you need to use set tweezers. I was pasting the photo etched parts, trying to use a very small amount of uh, CA glue. Definitely I need to work uh, trying to improve these skills and uh, make the gluing parts uh, look cleaner. All in all, it looks quite okay, but there is of course uh, some room for improvement.
For painting, I've pasted one element to the hangar's bottom with extra thin glue and covered the water planes inside the hangar, protecting them from painting. After that, I've painted the hangar with Tamiya Grey spray. I cut out the flag stuff and fit it into the conning tower element. Next, I've checked if the artillery deck and the conning tower element fits together. And I started to glue them. First artillery deck. Next, I've mounted the submarine snorkel. In short, it's a device which allows a submarine to operate on a periscope depth while still taking the air from above the surface. I've made some cosmetic improvements on the conning tower. Mounted the flagstaff and the conning tower, gluing it uh, from the inside with extra thin glue. It's time to mount some uh, parts on conning deck. First, direction finder. Meantime, I've realized that uh, after gluing the parts on the conning tower, there is a line that doesn't look real. I've decided to use a putty and improve this part of my ship. Using a grey Tamiya basic putty, I filled the area and uh, left it dry. In the meantime, I've pasted the binoculars on the conning tower deck. One hour is enough for drying if you put a thin layer of putty. After that, I've started to sand the element using small pieces of uh, paper file. To paint this part, I need to mask the deck first. After painting, the conning tower connection line was almost invisible and it looks a lot better. I've pasted some elements that uh, I took off during masking. and I've mounted the conning tower deck that fits like it was tailor-made. 
I really have to admit that the quality of this uh, Tamiya model is really high. Everything fits perfectly. As you can see, I've also mounted uh, the 25mm anti-aircraft gun. I need to calibrate the sights a little bit. I've also mounted the masts, periscopes and antennas and this is uh, how it looks like uh, for now. Next I started to mount the catapult rail. It's not that uh, easy to bend the PE parts if you don't have special bending tool. But after a while, I've prepared the elements, glue them together. And mount on the deck at the bow. It's time for railings, I've painted them before uh, cutting off. Sometimes it's easier to bend them before mounting. Meantime, I've pasted the platform on a conning tower deck and small ladder on the hangar. Let's go back to railings. Mounting them took me some time and it was quite a challenge. But of course, safety first, our sailors need to have something to grab. The effect of the work might not be impressive, but after a closer look, uh, I can see how much work I've put it into this uh, ship so far. Next episode would probably be the last of Sentoku series. I'll try to finish it uh, with one movie, but I still have some ideas that I want to implement, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna finish the series in the next episode. In the meantime, I say goodbye. See you soon and take care, bye.